Hello everyone, in this video we're going to introduce another very important building block uh, for C programming or any programming language, and that is the functions. Uh, if you're coming from another language, you might know them as methods. Uh, really, functions and methods are the, the, are the same thing, just uh, they, they have different terms in different languages. I think it's like in Java, they're called methods, uh, but in C we'll call them functions. And functions do stuff. So if you have uh, some kind of uh, uh, set of tasks that you want to do that you might want to do again in the future uh, with the or you, you want to create a function to do that so you're not writing that code over and over again uh, so anytime you have code that you want to reuse uh, functions is one of the building blocks to put that code into so let's get started with functions Okay, I've, here I've created a program uh, that uses uh, three different functions uh, in three different ways. Uh, of course, I'm in, importing my, uh, uh, including my STDI library, and we're going to print to the screen so you can see what's happening. Uh, but uh, up front, instead of uh, going right into our main uh, function, which you've uh, seen many times, I'm actually creating a new function called rect underscore area and that's going to stand for rectangle area uh, but when I do that the first thing I have to do is actually declare uh, the type of value it's going to return uh, so when we call a function and uh, it's going to um, unless it's a void will it'll it'll return some value and we need to define what that is so in this case uh, this function is going to return a double um, and then we give it a name just like we do with variables, but then in parentheses after the name uh, We we define what it what variables it's going to bring in as as arguments uh, So it, you can have any number of arguments here, but you have to actually you, you uh, uh, Define the type and then give it a name and so these are our inputs into the function, let's say. So in this case, we have an X, a double X, and double Y. Those are two inputs. Uh, those are going to represent the, the height and the width of a rectangle. And then we simply return uh, X times Y. So uh, going back to basic uh, geometry, uh, the area of a rectangle equals the height times the width and that's what we're doing here x times y and when where we use uh, this function where we call this function uh, this value will get returned to that point in the program and that's what this return means and then that will return a double uh, so the reason why we do this first is that before we can use a function uh, the program needs to know what it is uh, and it, there's a couple different ways that we can do that. In this case, we've defined the entire function right here. And if we only have one or two in the program, this, is, this might be an acceptable way to do it. But if you have a lot of functions that you use, uh, a, 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 another way to do it is just to declare the functions and then define what they do later on. And that's done so that your main function isn't uh, buried way down and, and you know, late in the program. Uh, so this is uh, I'm showing you how to do that here. So if we uh, if we want to uh, just declare the function and then we can uh, define it later, uh, we just leave out the body basically. So we still declare declare the type. And in this case, I have a function that I'm going to call pi and then it doesn't take in any arguments um, and you just leave that blank or in it depending on I guess your environment you, you might need to put void in there to say that it doesn't take anything in uh, but this works just fine in uh, Genie on the in the Raspberry Pi um, uh, next on the next line uh, we have uh, I'm creating a, a, a third function and this function uh, again uh, up here pi is going to return a, a double value so it's going to uh, uh, return a double uh, if if we have a function that doesn't return anything it's called a void so we'll, we'll define it as void and in this case I'm creating a void function called print something and 
it's going to take in a, uh, a character string. And so you remember back in my arrays tutorial, uh, we use these square brackets to signify this. So this is the context for for bringing in a <coughs> excuse me uh, for for uh, telling the program that this function is going to take in a character string. Okay, so now we have. Uh, before I go into the main, uh, I'll just want to show you uh, how these functions have been defined. Uh, I go down below main, so here's my main, and I can just roll that up here so you, you don't have to look at it. Uh, and here's the actual definition of those functions. And again, it's the same as what we did up here, it's just coming after main, so it just it, it makes our program a little cleaner. Uh, by doing it this way, up front in the program, we can just basically have a list of all the functions, uh, and then at the end of the program, we can define those uh, like this. And so here, uh, the pi, all, uh, all it's going to do is return 22.0 uh, divided by 7.0. And uh, if you didn't know, that's, that is the value of pi, is 22 over 7. And I use a decimal place there, because um, it is a double. <clears throat> and then uh, for the, the print something uh, function, uh, remember it's going to, to accept a character string as a uh, mm -hmm. argument. And you can see that there we go. We have uh, something. I'm calling it something. And then I just use a square uh, square brackets there. Uh, I don't put a number in there because I this might be a different value every time the function is called. Uh, so when this runs, it will just the program will just determine how big that needs to be. Okay. Uh, and then within the squiggly brackets, you actually ex uh, put in your code. In this case, it's just going to use the printf function and print that character string to the screen. Okay, so those two functions have been declared. One doesn't take in any, any variables or any arguments, uh, but it returns a double. This one takes in an argument, but it doesn't return anything. You, you notice that this is a void, it doesn't need to return anything. It just does something, and in this case, it prints something to the screen, and then, then the program starts off back where, where it called this function. So let's go ahead and look at our main function. Uh, first off, I'm creating three uh, variables. One is the width, one is the height, and it's two and three. And then I create a third variable that's called area, and I set that equal to uh, rect underscore area, which is our function. I remember what I said before, when we, when we call a function uh, that returns a value, that value will be inserted where that function was called from. So in this case, uh, the area that is calculated up here will be returned to this point in the program and then uh, assigned to the variable area. So we are uh, to step through this, we have, we have rect, rect underscore area, and we are passing the values of 2 and 3 up here into x and y, and x and y is multiplied, and that result is returned back to here and, and assigned to area, okay? And then on, we just simply print that to the screen right here, just in it, like I've been using in all my all my other videos, printing that value to the screen. On the next line, I'm going to uh, print uh, print a value to the screen, but instead I'm just going to call the function directly from this line. And, and in this case, remember it doesn't take in any arguments, so I but I still need to include the open or the open and close uh, uh, parentheses like that. Uh, so in this case, I'm calling this uh, this pi function, and when when this is called, the the program branches down to here, and then the only line of code in that function is to do 22 over 7, and then returns that result to this point in the program, which then gets put into that string. So it'll print the value of pi there, and uh, I think I covered this in a, la in a video, but this, this syntax here, it's going to print a float value. And what this means here, the 0.20 means it's going to print 20 decimal places on the screen. So we'll have 20 
decimal places of pi on the screen when we do this. Um, next, uh, we have a single line here, and all it does is call a function. There's nothing else that occurs on this line other than calling a function. The calling the function prints something, and passing the val the val this uh, argument this is a character string to that function. So th this is going to send this character string down to this point in the program, and and insert it into this uh, variable called something. And then the printf function is going to print something to the screen. Um, it just so happens that these are named the same, but uh, you, we could put, uh, we could put, uh, let's say, uh, uh, strider in there. And, uh, and it'll, it'll do the same thing, so it'll print strider to the screen. So let's go ahead and run this, and uh, since I changed it, let's go ahead and build, and you can see how it works. There you go. Um, so you can see that uh, area was calculated to be six, and uh, and that's that's true. So we have uh, our two and our three were passed up there, and two times three is six. That's correct. And then pi is 22 minus, uh, divided by 7. You see we have our 20 decimal places there. And then and this, this character string was passed down as function, and that function pr printed strider to the screen. And that's about it for the, the real basics of functions. Hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe, and we will talk again soon.